Okay, I have set up my planetary eyepieces. The Sky Watcher is WA 3.5 mm, 70 degrees. Pentax 3.5 mm uh, is XW, of course, 70 degrees again. SW30 is a uh, TMB planetary 2, SW 3.2 mm. That's 62 degrees. And this is also 62 degrees, the same planetary TMB, SW 2.5 mm. This is one of the best, Ortho 4.S, and this is my finder eyepiece in this session. Uh, Celestron E-Lux 25mm Plus -O. And this is the Skywatcher uh, uh, ED-80 Pro series, series, and that's the planet Venus. And I'm looking forward to observe. The Pentax 3.5 that's the XW version, doesn't show any chromatic aberration. Probably, if I want to say from 100 complete chromatic aberration to 1, that's probably around 4% of chromatic aberration, nothing more. So, Skywatcher and Pentax 3.5, 3.5mm, they're very close. This is a slightly brighter, and the crescent of the Venus, very thin crescent, is more... Um, better defined. Uh, the control of the chromatic aberration in both of them is very good. Uh, very close. I cannot dis differentiate between these two. This is very good. Bright image, clear, heavier. That's lighter. So if I want to use it, probably I will use this one. When I uh, use this one, the telescope will goes out of balance. I have to rebalance it again. With this one, that's all right. And um, so. Pentax have a better image. Now I go for two and a half millimeter, three point two millimeter sky watcher. Uh, sorry, uh, TMB optical. TMB three point two gives it a slightly bigger image. Very good. The uh, definition of the crescent is good, but nothing comparable to these two. It's bigger, of course, so I can blame it on that in a way. Chromatic aberration is a little bit bigger, more pronounced, partly also because. Five minutes, ten minutes has passed, and uh, Venus has gone a little bit lower toward the horizon, a little bit more chromatic aberration. But <clears throat> this is 23 pound, this is um, 75 pound, and that is 249 pound. This is the TMB Optics Plan 32, 22.5 millimeter piece. Surprisingly, the image quality is slightly better than the 3.5, 2.2 millimeter. Is the quality of image is not bad. It's good actually. I like it. Less chromatic abrasion than this one. And uh, now I'm going to use this uh, 4.8 millimeter orthoscopic. This is the orthoscopic uh, 4.8 millimeter. The image quality is close to this one not as good as but close to this one and uh, chromatic aberration is less than the old others uh, slightly less than this and comparable to this one but the eye relief is very small so you have to really go close to this i don't mind it because i actually feel that i'm more you know balanced when i look my eye touching this so i find it more easier it's personal choice you can your mileage maybe is different. Now gone back to the Pentax 3.5 to compare. I can say Pentax 3.5, Pentax XW 3.5 is uh, very close to the orthoscopic. Eye relief of orthoscopic is very small. This has a 20 millimeter. Then comes this Skywatcher. Then comes this uh, uh, 2.5 millimeters TMB planetary, then 3.2 millimeter one. So this one probably you can buy it for 40 pound or even less. This one 250, 249, 75 pound, 23 pound, 23 pound. If you want to buy something, I think this one and this one will be adequate for you if you want to go cheap. If you want to have a better quality, you have to go for this Pentax, if you have enough money for this to pay for this, or if you cannot justify, but you can live with the extra weight of this. This one 
otherwise go for this so this three if you have a tight budget these two if you have a better budget definitely this one is the best of all after using all the eyepieces that I shown I think uh, for the eye relief and the purity of the color that it gives Pentax three and a half millimeter is better than even the um, auto so that's thumbs up for the Pentax XW so at the center 50% of the center of axis of the eyepiece these two are draw the quality is equal uh, when they get near the edge, I think this is a slightly better than this. But when it comes to money, which one you will buy? This is £75 and that one is uh, £249. This is heavier than this. This is around 700 grams. This is around 400 something, 30 grams. So this is obvious choice for if you want a little bit better quality if you're discerning for that have a discerning taste for that and uh, and if you have the money it's also lighter but this one is good if you don't want to spend that amount and i can say this is really good before all of this this was the best that i had before having the uh, the Pentax and the image quality if you want to go for really perfect image but without much eye relief this is it if you can't find anything like this 4.8 millimeter orthoscopic or even a smaller than this I mean the focal length less than this that's perfect but eye relief is very small which one I would go uh, that one is perfect for viewing. If I want to go to travel, I will take this one or either of this. And this is heavy. It's good for heavier telescopes. But value for money, that's really match, good match for the Pentax. This one, perfect. Orthoscopic, no fault. As you can see, the planet Venus is very low in the sky. And I use the orthoscopic and compare it with this. Pentax is superior to those orthoscopic. <laughs> the purity of the image is pure white. Slight chromatic aberration, nothing comparable to orthoscopic or anything. Orthoscopic at this low at latitude of the uh, Venus shows chromatic aberration. This one, not much. Really well controlled. The scatter also is very well controlled. So. The thin crescent is very beautiful. I think in all of these, the dark horse is this uh, Skywatcher 2.5mm eyepiece. That is cheapest, £23, around $28 if you want, $29. And uh, has the lowest uh, F number, highest magnification. And it's surprisingly good quality. I wish there was a orthoscopic in this length, focal length. This is good. Uh, this is a dark horse.